What's up, YouTube? Just Gav here, bringing guys a brand new video here up onto the channel. And I'm not really big into rumors, leaks, disgruntled devs, may or may not be, 4chan posts, Reddit posts, whatever you want to call it. But as you guys can see from the title and the thumbnail of this video, apparently, allegedly, although it has been debunked already by Marcus Leto, who's the head of Ridgeline Studios, Battlefield 7 leaks have already begun to trickle out again. Allegedly, this is what the next game, some of what the next game is going to entail. Again, I'm going to say again, it has been debunked by Marcus Leto and I believe some other devs. Now, they may just be trying to save face or I'm going to probably listen to them and debunk it because all of this sounds a little bit ridiculous. But I thought for the sake of content and for the sake of fun, we would take a look at these uh, leaks and see if there's any validity to it. Because I do think there's a couple things in this game or in this leak that I have been talking about on stream and where I think the next setting is going to be. Um, so we're just gonna dive right into it. And I have it up on my screen right now. I might put it up in the video or I'll just, I'm recording my screen right now. So I might just do a screen report, who knows. But uh, we got uh, a post eight days ago from Throwaway Snitch 12. He posted this on 4chan first and then he post deleted and then posted on Reddit and then something, something, another and then deleted the accounts and something. But it says Battlefield 7. 4chan battlefield 7 details clarification this is a 4chan post that was removed i'm not said employee okay i recently left dice ea stockholm and since they fired me for no reason bf7 is targeting fall 2024 and 2024 2025 now we knew that the next game got pushed to 2024 because of the reception from battlefield 2042 because before battlefield 2042 came out andrew wilson who was the ceo at the time i believe is he anymore i don't know he said they were going to be on a two-year cycle from now from now from then on but because of the you know bf4's uh floppage they decided to push the game a year and make new studios fire a bunch of people shut a bunch of games they, they've just swapped a lot of his stuff behind. but anyways let's get back to the subject it is uh bf7 it's targeting fall 2024 2025 next gen only duh new engine duh beta in summer 2024 reveal at ea play 2023 which i find extremely interesting why would you reveal it at ea play 2023 which i believe is like in the summer and then beta why wouldn't you anyways uh let's let's talk about the real meat and potatoes here uh bf7 details set in 2020 between 2020 and 2030 i've been saying this i've been saying the next battlefield if you guys have been to my streams when we talk about it is going to be set between the bf2042 and bf4 because bf2042 and bf4 are in the same timeline obviously irish you know pike in the in the in the in the in, or pack in the short you know they're, they're set in the same timeline bf3 bf4 2042 21 21 42 is all in the same timeline i believe um so that's what i've been saying is going to going to be the setting but we'll see specialist return with a classic mode available in custom games this is where it's a little funky to me i do not think specialists will return if they do they will be skins only kind of like how call of duty does it how you can buy the rose skin or the ghost or the you know uh whoever else but they won't have any abilities to them. They'll just be skins. Like, you can play as McKay, but you can be an engineer McKay. You can be a support McKay. You can be a medic. And maybe they have, like, different cosmetics depending on what class you play. But it's McKay. Or, you know, some version of it or something like that. I, I don't know if I, that's what I would do, but I, I assume that's something they might go for. Uh, next is campaign is a direct follow-up to Final Stand, the last DLC of BF4. Focus on stopping Russia from forming the pack. R Wrecker returns and is the playable character. Uh, which is the main character from BF4. Big focus on huge set pieces and an emotional backbone. Multiplayer is 128 players. Doubt. Metro on launch. Doubt. Plan seven maps with a big destruction event on each. A destructible city is planned. That sounds more true. Seven maps is a little low for me. Uh, but if they're going to be doing things like an entire city being able to be leveled, then I can kind of see. Gun customization is pretty much a carbon copy of Gunsmith from Call of Duty. This right here gives me pause and serious pause sbmm being considered in prototype server browser is only for custom games see this if this is true i don't think it is let me say that again let's just have fun with it if it is true trash garbage battlefield as an fps is literally one of the only respawn multiplayer shooters i believe nowadays you know a, a, a big triple a without a form of sbmm even though there you know there is no competitive uh you know mode obviously but it doesn't have sbmm and it's multiplayer that we know of everyone thought we were gonna have sbmm because there's no server browser in this game 
Turns out we didn't get it. And there's not enough people who play to even get an SBMM system. So, um, them putting an SBMM system in the next game is a is a guaranteed. And I'm gonna say this with a dead straight. It is a guaranteed way to kill your game. I stopped playing Call of Duty mostly because I fell in love with Battlefield, but also because SBMM is garbage. There's no reason I should go 30 and five one game and then get uh, all the CDL rosters for the next five. That's ridiculous. Not fun. It should be random. Anyways, and of course, this is what I've been saying is Ripple Effects game mode. Everybody, people keep telling me, oh, it's Portal. Oh, it's Portal. They're working on Portal. No, they're not. They're working on their own game. They've explicitly said that they've been working on their own game. People are saying it's single player. I don't think it is. Ridgeline is working on single player shit. Um, Ripple Effect. Battle Royale developed by Ripple, Ripple Effect. Free to play. Biggest map in Battlefield history. Roughly double the size of Verdansk, which is... It better be like 300 players. Helis and tanks are gained through contracts and drop in by air. Okay. Big focus on classes, of course. Set in Moscow, your goal is to eliminate all other operators or extract early and return next match with next match with better loot. So they say he says BR, but I think he kind of walks over himself here because he says that you can extract early and return next match with better loot. So so whatever you get in you you take out of a br match you can store stuff from the b so it's almost an extraction slash br that eventually has a winner at the end of a match which you can extract early i feel like that's actually that's actually a bit of a interesting interesting spin on it if you ask me um because you know obviously the br genre is absolutely huge people say it's dying it's 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 not um Fortnite's about to add first person. Uh, Apex has just set new records that I was reading about something, something. So if DICE wants to stop sitting on the sidelines, I know a lot of people aren't going to like to hear this. Um, they're going to have to get involved. Hazard Zone, L. Firestorm, because it wasn't free to play and it only has 64 players, L. I actually really like Firestorm, but I'm also a Battlefield uh, uh, enthusiast and and some, you know, my, my, you know, I'm a little bit biased. So Firestorm's my, probably my favorite uh uh, BR that I ever played next to Apex and next to Warzone 1, of course. But uh, yeah, those are all of the leaks. I think that's a weird spin. But again, I'm going I'm to say this. This has been debunked on Twitter and through other forms of social media. They could just be covering their tails and, you know, just doing PR, you know, the whole. But again, for the fun of it, we're just going to talk about this. And I've been kind of talking about it as we go through it. So that's it. That That's all the leak. And yeah, I, I think some of the stuff in there is interesting. The other stuff is just... Like, specialists returning? No. And if they do, L. Like, I, even though I enjoy some of the specialists, especially McKay uh, with the grapple hook, um, I, I enjoy some of the things specialists bring to the game, but they ultimately create more problems, and they are not worth it in the end. Um, <clears throat> and I think they learned that in Battlefield 2042 with, since they're not adding anymore after Camila. But, yeah, I hope you guys, uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Tell me you guys, what you guys think about these so-called leaks that have been debunked already. Again, they've been debunked, and I don't necessarily believe all of them, but some of these things I've been weirdly accurately predicting before I even saw this post. I said it was going to be set between BF4 and 2042, and I've been saying Ripple Effect is working on a BR or some kind of something, and people have been, no, no, it's... Just... Anyways, tell me, guys, tell me what you guys think down below in the comments, and uh, yeah, I think that's just gonna be it guys i appreciate everybody watching like comment subscribe share with your friends check out all the socials down below but consider becoming a member on the channel uh youtube's been hoeing me a little bit with the ads on my streams and, and limiting them and stuff like that so i'd appreciate it if not uh, thank you for being here uh hit that like button do all that good stuff and i will catch you guys in the next one peace out <gasps> girl scouts <gasps> see you bye guys